Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a iPhone XS or XS Max. I'm going to show you three ways how you can enable Siri. Very, very simple. So the first way is go into your settings here. And then from here, you want to go down and you want to look for Siri and search. So tap on that. Now the first two ways is here. You can go ahead and toggle this on where it says listen for Hey Siri. So every time you say Hey Siri, it's going to activate. The second way here is press side button for Siri. Basically, it would be the power button. Anyways, let me, let me go ahead and walk you through the steps here. So first way here, um, listen for Hey Siri. Now every time you turn it on and then turn it off and turn it back on, you have to go through this sequence here all the time. It only takes like 10 seconds though. Anyways, let's go ahead and toggle this Hey Siri on and then enable Siri and then press on continue. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, it's me. Okay, so we're done there. Now the thing is, once I click on done, another option is going to pop up down here. And it says right here now, allow Siri when locked. So basically, if you want to be able to say um, the hey Siri when the phone is locked, you can go ahead and tap on that. So let me go ahead and just toggle this on, uh, Siri when locked. So now, even if your phone is locked, you can go ahead and say, Hey Siri, what's the weather in Amsterdam? It's currently partly cloudy and 46... Okay, so you got that there. Now, the other way is down here. Now, the thing is, I'm telling you three ways to do it. You can leave all three ways enabled or two ways or just one way. Okay, it's up to you. Anyways, let me just go ahead and disable this right now so... Hey Siri doesn't keep like popping on. Okay, so for the second way, it's right here. Press side button for Siri. So I'm going to tap this on, and then I'm going to click on enable Siri. Now the thing is, I have to press and hold this button, and then Siri is going to activate. The thing is, I have to press and I have to hold it. I have to ask my question, then I can let go. But I don't have to say, hey Siri, every single time. And also this option pops up again here, allow Siri when logged. I always leave this one like toggled on here. So for instance, even if the phone's asleep here, and then let's go ahead and activate Siri. Again, I don't have to say, hey Siri. I'm just going to press and hold this power button and ask my question. How many inches is in four miles? And then I let go. That would be 253,440 inches. Okay. Okay, so the third way now is go back into your settings, and then you want to go to general, and then you want to go down and look for accessibility. Tap on accessibility. And then you want to scroll down and you want to look for assistive touch. Now listen carefully about this one. So assistive touch, I'm going to go ahead and tap on right there. And now I'm going to go ahead and toggle on the assistive touch here. Now this thing pops up here, this floaty icon right here. And you can see I have single tap, double tap, a long press or 3D touch. I have single tap on screenshot right here. So if so right now if I tap on if I tap on that, it's going to take a screenshot. However, what you can do is you can go ahead and change this to Siri, just look for Siri. The only thing is I don't recommend you using the one click for Siri because the thing is this floaty icon is going to be anywhere on your screen. It's going to be like in the front at all times. Even if you lock your phone, this is still going to be here, okay? And let me just tap it once. So you can accidentally keep activating Siri that way. So, so what I would recommend is to do this. So what we want to do instead of leaving it as single tap, I would recommend doing 3D touch. Now what is 3D touch? 3D touch is basically if you just hold down the button a little bit harder than, than usual. So for instance, okay, let's go ahead and make this uh, 3D touch. We'll make it to Siri now, okay? So now, in order for me to activate Siri, I have to press down a little bit hard on this, okay? What's the tallest mountain in the world? According to Wikipedia, it's Mount Everest. Okay, now see the thing is, when I use the 3D touch too, I don't have to press and hold on to it, okay? Nor do I have to say, hey Siri. And it's the same thing on my lock screen here too. You can still see the floaty icon on here. So again, if I wanted to go ahead and activate Siri, I would do a 3D touch. Basically just press down a little bit harder. How many miles in 30 kilometers? That would be 18.64 miles. Now don't forget, when I use the assistive touch, I don't have to press and hold it like I do the power button, okay? Pressing the uh, assist of touch is basically saying like, hey Siri. So anyways, I hope that helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.